What's going on, everybody? Welcome Hi. back. Welcome back to more, more Pokemon time. That sounds good. All right. So today is going to be a little bit of a shorter stream because, as you know, it is Tuesday and our schedule is a bit different now. But yeah. that kind of works out because we now have access to Surf and Fly, which means it's time for that part of Pokemon that everyone loves, uh, going back and getting shit that you couldn't get before. So, you know, it kind of works out. Can we not? I don't think we can access the water from... Oh, you know, there's one thing I want to show off real quick in the PWT. Sorry if I'm a little off today. I just have, like, a horrible, weird headache. So I'm gonna apologize if my content is lesser than normal. Now, here we go. This tree right here. Or is it this tree? Hmm. One of these trees... I, you can surf on one of these trees. I don't remember which tree it is. Oh, I found a zinc in the garbage. That's neat. It was one of those. Maybe it was maybe that was only like the Japanese version or something. But I know you can surf on a tree in the PWT. Do you go anywhere? Like no, it's it? it's one tile. You just get stuck in a tree. All right, so let's go. Let's go all the way back. Fly lets us go to any town we've previously visited. Sparatime City. The Sparatime City. And if you remember, in the Sparatime City, right by our house, there was a little pond. Yes. This takes us to the final boss. No, I'm kidding. That would be funny. It's a TM for energy ball. I love balls that contain energy. I, I just love balls. Thank you, Shay. I don't believe there was anything in Route 19. I know, I know there's shit in Verbank, so let's go Verbank and work our way back. Hope everybody's having a good, good day so far. Eek. Hey, oh, hey, Burger Boy, what's hey, going Burger on? Hey, Burger Boy. How you doing, bud? What's up? Oh, this is another thing I forgot to show off. It just slipped my mind. This dude down here. Good deal. Don't you? He'll trade you. You give him a Pokeball, and he gives you a Great Ball, and you can repeat that once a day. Hmm. I completely, like, forgot that was a thing we were in Burbank the first Sus. time. I mean, it's it's a one-for-one -one trade. Like, he's not... Yeah. Maybe he's just an idiot. I don't know. Yeah, Silk Scarf. Buffs of the power of normal moves. Watch this stream so support. Appreciate Thanks. it, bud. Appreciate it. And we can surf on this... Questionably clean water in Burbank. It's treated sewage. I... Maybe. I don't really know what they do with the complex, so maybe. Rare candy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> you know, this kind of works out. Yeah. He's moving. Oh, yeah, there are Pokemon in the water. I like the ripples when you're battling water Pokemons. Yeah. The only problem is, uh, surfing Pokemon's level ranges are insane. This thing is all five. Damn. I mean... Is there XP share in this game? Uh, as a hold item. Oh. We currently have it on Iron Man currently. Well, I mean, you know. Yeah, there's you no... You could always XP share it, and it wouldn't be too, too bad. And, well, that's the thing. You're better off just whipping a repel, because I believe the high... Like, they can go up to, like, 40-ish for their levels. Well, also, couldn't you, like, have them at the start of the battle and then switch to somebody who would kick their ass and have them e super high level? Not super high level, because the XP scales in this game. Oh, gross. That's yeah. normally what I try and do if a game doesn't do that. Yeah, the XP scales in this game, so if you're fighting a Pokemon that's way lower level than you, like, if we killed that level 5 Pokemon Michael right there, you would have gotten straight up, like, 30 X, Like, maybe 30. Let's see, is this another super low level bastard? I got level 6, watch. Ah, uh, Basculin. Right, so, just for the sake, just for the sake of... Okay, and I also have the XP share on, so it's gonna get split between two Pokemon, but that doesn't matter as much in this instance. He looks so grumpy. I love him. So we kill Basculin, level 6. 14. And then Iron Man gets 16 because he's slightly lower level than Michael. I hate that. It makes sense to have that in this kind of game. So that way you can't just, yeah. like, get super high level fighting, like, low level trash, but... This yeah. game makes me miss pixelated type of art. 
and yeah yeah like high quality pixel art yeah, yeah. it's yeah. high quality pixel art should definitely be the there's standard. a time and place in ev for everything with 3d but it's like pixel art shouldn't be shit on either oh yeah okay we you know like that water yeah. is beautiful you know this game in general they could really definitely have more repeating tiles of water texture for yeah. the rocks but like, like it's still beautiful i would argue this game Besides, like, some of the spinoffs that aren't as intensive, like, like say, Pokemon Snap or, like, new Pokemon Snap or something, I would say this game just looks better than pretty much every Pokemon game that came after it. Yeah. Like, Sun and Moon, like, don't look bad, but I feel like I, I, I like the pixel art more, especially because it's, you know, more reused 3DS shit. I definitely like the pixel... By that point. Like, art of Pokemon compared to the 3D, because I feel like when they go to 3D, I feel like the quality scales back in both gameplay and looks. Yeah, a little fucking bit. You know, it's like they always don't look finished to me. They just they're don't. Not. Well, it's like <laughs> they don't have any light or shadow on their model, so it just looks wrong. Um. X and Y was alright. It never stuck that well. Yeah, X and Y is like. It's mediocre. Y yeah, like, like, that's shit for Pokemon. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, X and Y, I would never say they're, like, my favorite games, but I wouldn't call them, like, unplayably bad either. I like, beat them, so they're not that yeah. bad. Like, Sword and Shield is, like, unplayably bad. The Let's Go games are unplayably bad. X and Y are fine. Sun and Moon was a big improvement. Yeah. But, like, I'm not gonna... And, like, Sun and Moon looks fine, but it also has, like, slowdown issues and, like, weird shit and, like... I just really wish, you know, like... There's nothing to say. Especially with Nintendo's bigger franchises, I wish they weren't afraid to go back to their roots like this. Like, even Zelda. Like, Zelda had some beautiful pixel art. Like, um, I almost said Phantom to the Past. That's not right. Link, Link to, to the Past. past. Yeah. Super Nintendo games, for the most part, hold up super well even today, I think. They do. Um, like, I remember my grandmother... Um, if y'all been here a while, her name is Sissa, because I didn't know how to say Melissa, which is her name. Um, so oh, I just call cool. her Sissa. We all do. She I'm gonna go fight that breeder again. had a SNES, and a lot of me growing up was playing the SNES with her, so like Donkey Kong Country, that's why that game is so special to me. Um... Shut the fuck up. Don't that, even say it. A game that, uh... Jameson. That I'm super good at. You know, the game I carried your ass through. The game that I beat. The exit. And live on stream. Died. Yeah, and that happened, like, on, like, every you other level. dirty, <laughs> sucking whore. Anyway, um... I'd play, like, uh, Mortal Kombat. There was, like, that dinosaur game. I can't remember. Probably Primal Rage. Uh, no. It was rated M. Yeah, Primal Rage. It was like a fighting game, yeah? No. No? Was there a... Turkin? Turkon? Turok? Turok, Was there yes. a Super Nintendo Turok game? I believe so. Yeah. Um, you know, like, all sorts of shit like that, but we would play a lot of Link to the Past and Donkey Kong Country because it was appropriate. And also this weird racing game with, like, cars with eyes. It's on the uh, Switch library. <gasps> Michael! He's growing up! Look at him go. Um, Basically sorry. what I'm saying is pixel art still holds up. And it's oh, yeah. like, I feel like instead of just rushing to 3D, if it's going to look eh, you should just stay with what is good, you know? But yeah, because yeah, like... There's no reason you can't have both. Like, there's some games that are just gonna that are just naturally going to work better in 2D or better in 3D. That's just how yeah. it's gonna be. It's like stuff like um, Link Between Worlds. I felt like was really well executed in 3D, and it looked really good in 3D because, especially with the whole thing where you're going into walls, you're kind of moving from 2D to 3D. It makes sense, but it's like I feel like. You know, Breath of the Wild, I think, has pretty good graphics. I think it'd be a little more refined, but it's still beautiful. Um, you know, I feel like that game is also something that could be really cool in pixel art, but it's going to be what better executed in 3D. Well, yeah. Because yeah, of yeah. all the shit that you do. I feel like for something like Pokemon, like a turn-based game, where they're just going to be standing in place anyway, it's like, yeah, just use pixel art at that point. Just use high-quality pixel art. Yeah, it's... Because it looks unfucking natural when they're in, th like, when Pokemon are in 3D sometimes. 
Trying to play Majora's Mask on an emulator, I honestly feel like I'm going through a fever dream. Been there. I had issues oh. trying. Jameson yeah. introduced me to the world of emulators. Which we uh, don't use on stream. Don't don't eat my ass, Twitch. No. Uh, I still don't know if you guys give a shit or not. Technically, if you already own the game, which we do definitely own these we, games. We don't, yeah. We've never... It doesn't matter. Yeah, I know that, but like it's funnier to keep the bit going. Yeah. Um... I remember trying to, one of the games I wanted to play was Majora's Mask with, with, on, with an emulator. I got like so fucked up with the keyboard. Yeah. I literally just bought a controller. Or no, I borrowed one from you that you had. I yeah. Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but and, I mean, you'd... and then my, the, the dog chewed the cord. <laughs> I mean, dude, like fucking controllers are always better than, like there's there's some games that are meant for keyboards, like like playing like Binding of Isaac with the controllers kind of aids. Yes. But like, I feel like a vast majority of the time, just controllers are better. I've heard from like my friends who play like FPS games, keyboards are very good for that, but I, and I'm sure it, it is, but I don't really play FPS games, so I can't really speak on that. And it's like, there's something, maybe call me old fashioned, but there's something so special, you know? It's like, yeah, if you really want to play a game, you go through an emulator, but just having the controller or the system, or even the arcade machine, because we're lucky to live close to Fun Spot, which most people probably don't know, it is the American um, the arcade, arcade Museum. It's the yeah. biggest original arcade museum in, in the United States, I believe. Um, it has like a bunch of awards and Guinness World Book of Records. And you walk in there and upstairs is all pinballs and old fashioned like arcade machines and you, they still work and you use them. The center floor is like bowling, kids stuff, and then like more modern machines. And then you go downstairs and it's all like the seated stuff. So it's like racing or like ski ball and Right. Pizza, all sorts of shit. Pinball. Pinball. Oh yeah. yeah, no, it's there's like straight up like one big chunk of the entire floor is just pinball machines up against the wall. And honestly, I live for that place. Like, it's alright. It's I really like it. I, I really like the vibe. I dig the vibe a lot, but like I don't like crowds and noise and children. So like arcades are kind of one of those things where it's a once in a while activity for for me. Yeah, but I mean it is also you know like you get to play on all the original old systems. If any of them break, they do get serviced, unless yeah. they're like really really bad. They take really good care of them. Mm -hmm. You know, pinball slap saw. Oh yeah. There's sure. like this one Zernin, I think it's called pinball machine that I really like, and I really like the Adams Family one, and the Playboy one. <laughs> of course you do. Listen, it's great. Um, so it's just like something about playing on the original systems is very therapeutic, and it's like. Sure, I can go and play Rampage on an emulator, or I could just be in the dim lighting, the dim retro lighting, playing well, yeah. on the actual machine well, well, and experiencing that, well, and it's so special. Well, because that's, like, the, the shitty part, right? Is it's, like, that, that's why, like, piracy and emulation are literally never going away, because these companies don't give, they don't give people a good way of playing these games outside of it and it's like well if you're not gonna sell it to me i'm not gonna feel bad about like not giving you my money right because a lot of those games are hard to access if not impossible anymore yeah literally and it's you know i think games like that definitely deserve to have like upgrades yeah. or remasters but it's like it's hard. Yeah, I definitely like, understand both sides. If I fucking... I used to play that one on Phantom of the Opera. That's awesome. Phantom of the Opera, Phantom of the Opera. God, badass. that would be my favorite. I love Phantom of the Opera. Because, like, if you, if you were to look at, like, my Steam library, right, a good chunk of it is old school games. I could very easily just play on an emulator. Just, like, Chrono Trigger, old school Final Fantasies, fucking... I just, yeah. I just bought a pack uh, a couple, of, like, days ago. Of, like, all the Batman Arkham games, because it was on sale for, like, $8 for all of them, all DLC and everything. That's awesome. But, like, I, I want to support developers. If I can throw them my money to have it, I'll do that. Yeah. You know? But, Emulate, like... because I'd be a broke bitch, and I understand I mean, that's, that's also that. valid. It's like, I was a kid. It was like, I worked at a pizza place and had to buy my own gas and groceries and shit, because my parents wouldn't help with that at all. So, all the money I made went into bills. <laughs> 
So I totally feel that. I, you know, it happens. Yeah. It's just like, I feel like there should be almost like a free game database, right? So it's like Nintendo has their own kind of similar to the Switch, but could also be accessed if you don't have a Switch. Right. Like just computer only, like Steam library, sort of, except could, for all really old games. You could argue that's kind of what GOG is. And they should also be free. Yeah, you could argue that's kind of what GOG is. I mean, that's also what like video game rentals are for. Hey, man. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. I pay my own bills, so when I have extra, it can be used to splurge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. When I... I, when I finally get a fucking better job and have extra money, there's going to be a lot of stupid, unnecessary purchases. Because honestly, I am valid and I deserve it. Honestly, like, when you do, same. Because, like, you know, it's like I want to get some decor or, like, really have that theme going with the house. Like, I have envisioned in my head. I feel you. And it's like sometimes I still do buy the occasional dumb thing, but it's usually never under 20 bucks. Or usually never always under 20 bucks. It's usually never under $20. Shay only wastes money extravagantly. No. And it's like lately I've been absolutely dying to go get a massage done or like a spa day. Like I just feel like tired and I mm -hmm. want to be pampered. And I don't have money for it. <laughs> so it's like yesterday I was trying desperately to give myself a mini spa thing where I was like soaking my feet and I did moisturizer and some good lotion and skincare stuff that I have but you know it's not always quite the same but it was still really nice must spend all the money all of it every cent of it and it's like get also, rid of it it's funny because I tend to really not buy shit in my opinion unless it is going to last a while and or like I won't buy clothes for example that won't last long like really thin shirts or things like that i like to buy things well, that yeah. last because then you're gonna fucking be buying it like every fucking month and it's right. like why even right it's like i hate the fact i have to buy hats because it literally is there to hold shit and then it just goes in the garbage and i feel like i'm throwing away money hey, but those those are meant to, you're thinking of diapers menstrual pads no i for you said menstrual stuff. i know i know but you said never mind anyway um which reminds me i recently uh, i had i'm getting my new cell phone tomorrow and if y'all want to know i still have an iphone 6 from when it first came out in 2015 and i remember working my ass off at my job at b hop to save for that because I left B-Hop when I graduated. Hmm. And that was a year before we graduated high school. So it's like I saved in full to buy that phone so I wasn't on a plan and then I used like track phone or smart talk or something or a straight talk. Smart talk. You know what I mean. Yeah. And I recently got a message and it was like, your cell phone is on a 2G SIM card and by the end of 2022, they're no longer going to work. This phone will still work similar to an iPod and can text over Wi-Fi, but cellular isn't gonna work anymore. And then right. I'm like, hmm, I really need to upgrade my phone then because it's literally yeah, almost you, been 10 years at like, this point. What if you have like an emergency it's been seven, or something, you're gonna need it. Seven right? fucking years, dude. Sitting here, the Galaxy Flip 3, worked hard for it though. Yeah. I just have whatever fucking phone, because Shay bought me a phone for like Christmas. I got you an iPhone Christmas. SE. Yeah. I got you the best phone I could at the time, because you really needed one, so. Yeah. And it's, I decided after much thinking, I just like, fuck oh. it. I'm going to upgrade to the iPhone 12. Not the newest one, but pretty new. And then. New enough. The, right. And then the plan thing, it's kind of similar to a firm. So it's like you pay a small amount each month. And then my thing is for 15 months. So not even two years. And then I own it. So. Still works. I go, yeah, exactly. Dude, as long as the damn thing still works, fuck it, right? Like, like what? Yeah. What kind of an upgrade are you really getting nowadays with phone technology? Like, it's yeah. just a better camera, usually. Like, who cares? iPhone cameras are already, like, too good for their own good anyway. At and this honestly, point. another reason why I was like, fuck it, I need to upgrade is because my battery in my phone is, like, within... Since the house fire, I've noticed it's been really, really bad. Like, it doesn't keep a charge. But then, like... 
since I've been working, because I used to work at home, I just leave it plugged in, but since being right, out, so you don't really notice. I literally can listen to music for about an hour, and then my phone shuts off because it's so dead, and then I keep getting, like, service battery alert. Battery is not functioning. It's at 30% mm. performance level, and I'm like, if I'm just gonna spend $40 for a new battery, but then my phone's gonna die in, like, a couple months. So yeah, it's like, exactly. Especially you can... Damn it. Uh, uh, not to mention there's the off chance that like you go to get like you put the new battery in and like something breaks and fucks up anyway You know, it's never right. I'm not saying like oh, you're an idiot. Obviously you'd fuck it up I'm saying like fucking you know every time you're gonna open up a piece of technology and fuck with it There's a chance something's gonna go horribly wrong. Yeah, you know? and it's like I take really good care of my shit my iPhone 6s from seven years ago now Literally has no cracks on the screen, no dings, no nothing. Yeah, it's just Because I the always battery. had the, just the battery cover sucks. on it. Yeah. One with better since I never had anything really. I mean, dude, that's fair, you know? I just mean, like, when you're upgrading, like, a phone, right? It's like, I just, how much are you getting when you upgrade a phone, really? Right. Like, unless you're going from, like, a fucking, like, a, like, unless you're going from, like, a fucking US cellular fucking flip phone to, like, an iPhone. Like, obviously, there's a difference. But if you're going from, like, the iPhone fucking XS triple fucking burger special to the fucking next one above that like what the fuck's the difference yeah and it's you know? like part of me was thinking through that it's like do i i was like maybe i should just get the iphone 7 i was like well then it's gonna just it's gonna go get discontinued in like a year right and it's like i mean having a phone for that long that's a pretty good lifespan for something with a glass screen that could yeah. break really easy so it's like and then part of me was like, maybe I want like the iPhone 13 Max, but what do I really use it for? It's for music and texting you yeah. about random shit throughout my day. Be like, I had the best coffee today. What are I? Like I literally text you random updates. Well, I like I'm yeah. like, by the way, um, can you take this out of the fridge? Thanks, love you. Oh my god, this cat cuddled me and then licked my hand. It was great. Have a picture of a bunny. Also, just before I forget. Can you please make sure to do the garbage when you get home? Oh my god, Bab. There's this puppy. It's so cute. Like, is, all day long because I'm is, such a cunt. This is what being in a relationship for 10 years looks like, everybody. I look forward to it. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. I, I'm so boring. I don't mean that sarcastically. And then, and then I'm just like... And then I'm just like, hey, winky face. Like peach emoji meanwhile i'm still emoji. meanwhile it's four in the afternoon and i am still asleep yeah no literally also look at this sunset yeah literally not much Seriously. less your snob yeah and it's just like i don't really need an iphone 13 pro i use it to send jameson messages i i mean like, a better camera might be nice but i'm mostly looking for battery no, i life. mean like the cameras and iphones are really good it's just this new one is I apparently feel, like fucking crazy. I feel like you. I feel like it's almost at a point. And I mean, no, granted, I'm not like one of those photography hobby people. So like, maybe I'm sounding like an idiot right now to anyone who does that shit as a hobby. But it's like I feel like iPhone cameras are the point right now where it's like, if you really want a way better camera, you're gonna just have to buy an actual fucking camera, and not just settle for your phone. Like it's pretty fucking solid for a phone camera. Yeah. I remember back when like, if you took a picture on your phone or anything <laughs> that androids wasn't, be like, Bruh! yeah, I remember back. <laughs> But if you were taking a picture of something that was not a camera, it was just a camera built into another piece of technology, you were living with the fact it was going to look like shit. Like 120. Not P even. Like, if you were taking video, like... Do rock slide. That's so it's nice. like, I'm getting that new phone soon, and it's just, part of me feels really guilty, because I'm like, it's not like a need, but like... It kind of is, because like, what, like, if you have an emergency, you need to call someone. Right, like, right, and we're having like a situation at work, which I need my phone on me for, just in case there ever was an emergency, and I'm mm. not allowed to talk further on it, but th I'll just leave it at that. Two MP blur, yeah, literally though. Like, the fucking disposable cameras from Rite Aid had oh. better p clarity than that. Yeah. So it's like, I finally upgrade, but I also feel like I'm cheating on my old phone. I feel so bad. I'm like, you know, it's like, I know you're not completely dead yet, but like... Man, Toy Story really did irreparable damage to your ability to throw things away, huh? Yeah, I get weird emotional attachment to shit, and it's not even necessarily emotional. It's just like I feel bad. The human beings. I understand it's a phone, and it doesn't comprehend that. And like, I'm gonna sell it in a Dropbox at like Walmart yeah. for like probably ten dollars. But human beings will pack bond with literally anything. Um, it's just like I I've had so, that since oh, B Hop, dude. Nice. 
since my first job. I've had that phone through college career. I've had that phone with me for every job that I had. I had that phone when we were together for three years. All right, well, we celebrated our ten year. So it did its job, and now it's time for it to fucking rest. Christ. Um. So yeah, so Kabalion. So Kabalion is not here, obviously, because we already watched the bastard run off somewhere else. But there's a few items in here, and uh, there also was not nearly as much to do with Surf as I thought there was, so I think we're actually going to make progress. Blow it up and give it a send-off? Nah, I gotta sell it. I mean, you're not- I, babe, you're not gonna I'm get I'm probably much. gonna get like ten dollars, but I'm I thinking don't think about it. seeing a Facebook Marketplace, maybe I could sell it for fifty. I- dude, it barely works, you're not gonna get shit for it. It works when it's plugged in. Just, dude, literally- you're better off either blowing it up or, like, keeping it for, like, you know, parts or something. Hey there, probs. LMAO, I remember when I casually mentioned I was feeling rough, like, a month and a half ago, then died that whole time. Yeah, are you doing okay? You, you good, bud? Everything cool? Hope you're doing alright. I am excited for the new camera and, like... Hopefully it's faster. I caught I, a major sinus infection. Oh, jeez. Damn. And that I've been sick rough. since May. Yikes. Jesus. Bro. Are you, are you okay now? Have like, you, you tried a neti pot? Those things will clear out your fucking sinuses. It's disgusting. I don't think you, he want, I don't think they want to be doing that when they have an infection. I feel like that's a we bad idea. We've fallen. It's fine. Well, consult okay. your doctor. Oh, However, neti that. pots... Yeah, that's like the thing that goes in your nose, and then it just brings all the guck out of the other right, nostril. Right, sweet Pete, when you have an infection in your sinuses, you don't pour water in it. Don't pour anything in it. Body finally killed it. Body finally said, fuck this shit. Lucas. I love him. Oh, there is one more thing we can go do before we actually make progress. No. Yeah, don't go, don't go pouring shit. I'm still oh. sick and I'm actually using saline water. Cause oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah, no water in nose, yeah. I mean, if it's like saline water, then that's probably You just fine. have to make sure it's sterile. That's right. That's all I know. Yeah, I'm sorry you're still not feeling good. I'm glad you're okay, though. I want to make a joke like, hey, it could be worse, it could be like COVID, but I feel like COVID at least would either be out of your system or would have had the mercy to kill you by now. So like, maybe it wouldn't be better. <laughs> like, fuck, dude, being sick since May? It's fuck. confirmed. Oh, but I do have to get a CAT scan, so apparently I do indeed have a brain. It's confirmed. Always good to get a double double check on that with the doctor, yeah? I yeah. had a CAT scan not too long ago when I went to the ER and I was extremely dehydrated and I didn't know what was going on because I was delirious. Did they find any cats? No, oh. but that was my first time and I'm like this sweet old guy was helping me and I had like a bunch of IV with saline mm -hmm. And I was still really dizzy at this point. So he's like, he's like, I'll help you up. I'll help you up, sweetie But when they did an EKG on me to make sure it wasn't like heart related mm -hmm. They didn't button my thing up all the way. So oh. like my tit almost fell out and he's like goodness gracious Sorry, I didn't want you to to flash an old guy like me, I've seen plenty of that in my day. And he's just like buttoning it back up. Damn. And then you get put into this fucking tube and then it just moves back well, and yeah, you see like... this thing and he's like, okay, don't move. And it's just like, Whoa. Well, yeah, cause it's the same thing as like an MRI, or not an MRI scanner, uh, some other kind of thing where like they just put you in the machine. And like you. I never knew. I like how this is the backdrop to Iron Man evolving by the way. I never knew like what it was like and for some reason I thought it like hurt or feel weird. It's just but it's scan. like you just go into a secret tunnel, secret tunnel, and oh, then you leave. Probably when I see that we're done, we'll probably give that dude a heart attack, just flash the nip, yes yeah, straight up. I probably did give him a heart attack. My tits are the size of the moon. I'm glad he caught it though. Like, he apologized. He's like, sorry, I didn't mean to, like, touch you without asking. I was like, I appreciate that, but I would have rather had you do that and catch it before my tip fell out. Mm. I, was up, I was every time I tried to do my CT scan, so I hella vibe. <laughs> I hella vibe indeed. Dude, like, CTs are kind of fun. And it's also really whack because they showed me the thing after. Because they had to do CT because I fell over because well, I was like so dehydrated. I like blacked out for a second. It was really bad. 
I fell in my chair. They want to make sure I didn't have Dane Bramage. Right. So it's like they had the entire scan of my head and they could like zoom in and out of the layers. I'm like, ew, I can see my eyeballs. This is disgusting, but so cool. I wanted to see mine, but they wouldn't let me. Why not? <gasps> they let me see mine. I mean, maybe there's no one like freak you out. I'm also kind of a nerd, so it's like I always request for like if I have to get x-rays, I want pictures of it, and it's like creepy and cool and cringy. I would frame it and put it in our house if you didn't. I would think kill that you. Was weird. I gotta see him x-ray, and it was neither, so it would take too long. It wanted me to leave. Damn. I mean, at least they were honest about it, right? Yeah. And sometimes I know legally they can't show you until the doctor themselves has looked at it. Right. So I was like, that happened with me with the, um, the CT scan. They were actually supposed to mail that to me now that I think about it. They were able to show me because the doctor was showing me. And he was right. like, nope, you're good. You're still a goober who needs to have water instead of iced coffee. And I'm like, well then, rude. He's like, you gonna look at me and tell me I'm wrong? I'm like, no, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That guy, in all seriousness, was really funny because he really picked up my vibe very quickly. He's like, ah, uh, you make me think of my daughter. You're one of those people who just does not drink their water, huh? I was like, I try my best. He's like, well, your best isn't good enough because now you're here. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I, He's like, you're 24 yes. years old. Your body ain't like what it used to. I'm like, I never even party. I crochet. And he's like, drink your water. I actually just got done my first day back at Starbucks. Damn. I mean, I'm glad you're getting back. You're good enough to be getting back to work, though. That's oh, good. my God. You work at Starbucks? I love Starbucks. I came down there as the Relic Passage. It was recently discovered. But amazingly, it's... Where is it connected to again? So, yeah. When they dug up all the shit to build the PWT, they found a tunnel. And we are gonna go into the tunnel. Secret tunnel. It's I could not imagine working at Starbucks. I would be miserable. I can't imagine the amount of Karens you must get, but also the tips must be incredible. I do indeed work at Starbucks. It's great. That's amazing. I'm glad you like I it. I drink but... exclusively apple juice. Ha. I mean, that's apple juice is good. Apple juice is super good, but I like all the different drinks they have because I mostly go for coffee. Oh, we're getting University Starbucks? Oh. oh. It's like no tips. Oh, well, that's rough. That is rough. Hopefully Starbucks pays you well. They act like they pay everybody well, but who knows? Every company acts like they pay people well. So how's your day going? Because my only day that is going and I want to fucking die. I mean, I'm, I'm streaming. I'm What's all right. Wrong, What's missile? What's missile? Up? Tell me, tell me your troubles, bud. While I beat up this backpacker. I like how Starbucks has a ton of coffee and also like their refreshers. Like they have like really good iced tea. Like I love their green tea because it has lemongrass in it. Mm -hmm. It's like unique. I make 12.15 an hour. It also sounds hella rough missile. I mean 12.15 is not bad. 12.15 is not bad. Long story, but I've seen some future VC. Well, you gonna be, you gonna be okay until then? Just wanna make sure you're doing okay. Or as okay as you can be. This is also just gonna be the episode of fucking evolutions, cause all of it's gonna evolve soon. Good. I really love that dragon fruit refresher that they have. It's oh, that shit's good. so good. I can sit in a call while you vent, my guy. Yeah, I'll be fine. Just absolutely thrashed for the time being. That's fair. I feel I'm bad. sorry, friend. Well, what about this missile? I know it's a little hot for Coco. But what if you make a frozen hot chocolate I and you vibe with us for the I, next hour? If I know about, if I know missile, I'm willing to bet there's already one in his fucking freezer at oh. the moment. Dude, like I gotta send missile his his buddy package that I made, um, and I want to include cocoa in it, but I don't <laughs> know what kind of cocoa missile likes. So missile should tell me what kind of cocoa he likes. <laughs> maybe. 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 Hey, we're not making fun of you, bro. I just no, fucking, I know you love so cocoa. it's so cute. It's so adorable. Because I am like that with coffee. But eat any kind of basic cocoa. You're not, you're not big on the flavored cocoa? You're not like a mint cocoa kind you're, of guy? Like, or do you like marshmallows or no marshmallows or whatever? I'm, I'm fucking sorry. Marshmallows? That's what Sissa says. <laughs> Sissa always says marshmallows and Pokemans and all Ugh. that stuff. Ugh. 
And you try and correct her, and she just doesn't get it. But I always no, say she gets it. She gets it, but she's fucking with you. I say marshmallows. That's cute. I don't know. Give give even the slightest shit. Fair enough. To be fair, like it is, it's kind of hard to fuck up Coco. I like marshmallows and flavors, but I like any. Okay. I have to wait till I get paid, but your package should be departing Gerder. soon. Now that I am now getting stable paychecks, yay! Take this out for the XP. I just want to honk his nose. I don't think that'd be a good idea. I feel like all construction workers think they look like a girder. I don't think they want to look like a girder. As should yours when I go to the post. Ballin'. If you want to send shit to the pixelated broadcast. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um. If for whatever fucking crazy ass reason you want to, just send me a DM on Discord. No, don't do that. You're not giving people our address. Well, not randoms. Like, people who we can trust. We should really open a P.O. box. Girder is a JoJo reference. Why? Well, wouldn't be shocked. So, yeah, so this is an optional little side dungeon. Um. There is a reason to want to get to the end of it. Tobias. Like the Tobias. Give me the P.O. box to send you a packet of mocha from Starbies that I steal. <laughs> <laughs> I steal. Surf. God damn it. So Sturdy got buffed in Gen 5. Before, it just gave you immunity to one-hit KO moves like Guillotine, but now, in addition to that, if you're at full health, uh, you can only ever be knocked down to one health. It's really fucking annoying. Oh. Oh. Olive, let's go! Oh, Olive, Olive! Olive, Olive! Nice. Little baby Olive, you gotta evolve. Little baby Ollie. Encore, nah. Don't really need that. Sturdy, both the best and absolute fucking worst of abilities. Yeah, it's super fucking annoying. All right, boys, girls, gals, pals, they, oh, them's, everybody. You know what? I, you know what I thought of like a while ago. What? Um, it's really funny that the time we finally get a female starter, it's the one that evolves to have a fucking mustache. <laughs> wrong with women with mustaches? I think most women don't want them. Uh. Olive. Um. Mm. I love Olive. Let's show you. No. Olive yeah, really slash. is grown now. That's no, no why Olive is a large lad. Morg. Morg. Yeah, no, she's, she's vibing. All right. So, three evolutions in one episode, that's pretty damn good. Uh, I guess... Well, I mean, it's gonna be mostly, like, hikers in here. But we can put up this repel now, because I wanted to, uh, get blasted the XP we need on her. Serving. Eight pearl. You can sell that for... Perfect. Money and pretty much nothing else. Steven, just yesterday you were crying about snakes. They don't have any arms. God, I love Pearl as a character. Yeah. Like, I like how she, I love how in Steven Universe, like, all the characters are definitely not 100% good. And not 100% bad. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, like, everyone's just, like, a deeply flawed person. Yeah. Like, realistic. Yeah. Uh, psychic. Um. I feel like my brain is iron. about to explode. You're not that lucky. I have like a weird headache that's making me slightly dizzy, so I'm sorry. You're fine, baby. Psychic Tully. Man, I really enjoyed Steven Universe. Me too. Same. Me too. It's a shame that the ending is. Bad. Garbage. It's, well, a... I, it's like, it seems like as soon as, like, Ruby's wedding happened, they're like, okay, you have this amount of episodes, go. And they tried to shove what was planned for many, many seasons into 
wouldn't be surprised, yeah. You may be so tired from that. is just so good. I love the ending. Future's ending is fine. Future's ending is pretty good, you know? But, like, the... I kind of wish it showed a little more, but, yeah. Yeah. Um... But yeah, no, I love that show. Strength. I also appreciate all the music in that show. Oh, like, yeah. every single song is, like, so emotional or therapeutic. It's fucking crazy. Where in the fuck am I? Oh, okay. I actually publicly sang It's Over, Isn't It? You did. And I did it in a theater hall. It was so scary. But, like, that was the first time I nailed that high note at the end. And I was like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Well, it was like, I was so nervous. I, like... For that part, I kind of actually was like trying to kind of act a little bit. So I like well, yeah, fell gotta, to like, my get, knees. You gotta like get into the zone. And then it just like came out and I'm like, oh, and even my teacher in the background, she's like, fucking let's go. I definitely couldn't do anything like that. So you're doing great regardless. I mean, yeah, dude, it takes a lot of fucking, it takes a lot of fucking balls to do something like that in the first place. Oh yeah, I had stress diarrhea immediately after. Okay, just let us praise you without you talking about your <laughs> fucking bathroom problems, please. Listen, bad bitches have tummy troubles. What do you think of Yamask? Yamask. I really like Yamask. Yeah. No, but that, definitely that song in that show is so fucked. But then there's also that level of, like, preciousness because of that moment. Because I had to yeah. go to that music teacher to kind of get through a lot of shit I was going through at the time. Yeah. I even had one of those microphones that was, like, over your ear. Like a kind headset. Kind of around the front. Like a headset. Kinda, yeah. And it was really cool because a lot of people didn't know that song, but in the audience you could tell who knew it because they were like, because <gasps> <laughs> a lot of them did like, like classical type shit. Well, a lot of people, it was more of like musical, like a musical showcase. Oh yeah, so, so they're doing shit from like, they're like big productions and stuff. So defying gravity and so shit. Somehow this tunnel connects up to the relic castle mm. up in the desert. Because if you remember when we went there before, we couldn't access the deep underground part that we could in Black and White 1. It is baby. Baby is me. It is baby. And baby is me. It's Volcarona. Volcaroni macaroni. Volcaroni macaroni. Please stop snapping. Why? Firebug. Must catch. He's so cool. So. Who came up with the subtitle for that noise? I don't know. Volcarona. Despite looking like a legendary and being treated like a legendary, uh, it's not. It's also level 35. Volcarona's pre evolution, Larvesta, evolves at level 59. Um. So I don't know what the hell this guy's been eating. Um, we're gonna catch it for the memes. We're not gonna use it. He's been eating his calcium. We're not gonna use it on the team, but we're catching him just because he's cool, basically. I'm sorry my chair is so creaky, by the way. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing it. Not Oh, I am fully aware of when the best of us. <laughs> he's eating the same dad that Faulkner feeds his Pidgey. <laughs> uh, he's eating his Weedios. His Weedios. Weedios. Dude, the other day at work, I was making Kongs for all the dogs because all of them are so fucking anxious and they won't stop whining. Uh huh. So it's like I tried to give them something to do, and they had knockoff Weedios. They're just it, called Weedies, Sweet Pea. No, 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 Cheerios. Oh, oh, Weedos? Yes. Oh, Weedios. Not Weedos. And they were like. I did some of those with a little bit of pumpkin, a little bit of peanut butter, some kibble, and some wet food, and froze it, and stuck a dental chew in the center. They fucking loved those. 
It smelled yeah. awful, especially because the wet food was like made with like salmon meal. So it's just ground up salmon, bone, skin, scales, all the shit. Man, you, you should stop talking. It was so bad. It was so dank. <laughs> you should, you should cease. So dank, so rank. You should cease. But the puppies were happy. That's nice. I'm not. And Titan really liked it too. And he's that dog that's like scary. If he hates the cage, he'll just like in the cage. Right. Poor bastard. Desist. How about you eat my butthole? Please? Oh, please stop. You, you are at like an 11. We need you at like a 5. I feel like I'm going to disassociate, but I felt like this for like 20 minutes. I think you're currently disassociating. No. I am unfortunately present in life. Not with the stream. The stream is great. Uh, oh my god. I would rather not. So, uh... Alright, well, he's on one. Capture. I'm working on it, damn it. Capture. At least it's not a burn. Yeah. That fly? Oh my god. Perish. Yeah, Volgarn's catch rate isn't great. Like I said, the game sort of pretends he's a legendary. No, I could have smacked him, you know. Yeah, I'd rather you didn't smack the table as hard as you can right next to the microphone. And... Well, the netballs didn't work. Use a great ball or something. No, a netball would have a higher catch rate than a great ball. But we've got ultra balls, so... I don't know if this like counts as a dark place because we are just in like a underground ruin somewhere, but it's not really dark in the room. Hey, there we go. Hey. All right. Have you seen Pokemon Wilds? I have played a bit of Pokemon Wilds in my own time. It's definitely interesting. I'm looking forward to getting like more updates, though. I feel like it's one of those things where like you kind of get a lot out of it. Like you get pretty much everything out of it like immediately. I feel like. Anyone got any uh, names for this this lad? Like I said, not really a team member, but here for the memes. Dude, I mean, you gotta catch Volcrona. Yep. Definitely, but it seems cool. Oh, for sure. For sure. Who's got a suggestion for, for Volk here? Come on, give us your names. Well, we're probably tight. Dusk is almost to 100 subs. Holy shit. Mm. Can you name it Mariton? <laughs> I mean, I could. Mothra, the better Pokemon, the better Scarlet Vile legendary. Oh, hey, Druid, how you doing? Um. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> we did that a while ago. Um, yeah, I kind of, I mean, it's a little basic, but I kind of like the Mothra idea. Yeah, you see, the thing is, I did that because I was hoping every time you guys would try to say it, it would, like, tell me so-and-so tried to use... Oh. It would try to tell me so-and-so tried to use a banned word, but, like, when I put them in there, it doesn't even tell me when you guys are trying, so it's, like, not as funny on my end. Uh, we got a timid Volcarona, which is, like, arguably the best <laughs> nature. You for. bastards. Druid has been asleep for the past two hours. Well, wake the fuck up. Goddamn. Sleepy fuck. I always want to spin ball toy, like his fucking spinning top just I think he would let you. I think that would count as enrichment. Rotate. Ball toy. Wow, fuck you. <laughs> fuck me yourself, coward. Hey Blaze, how you doing, bud? What's hey, going on? Hey, what's up? And we got an item, an ultra ball. Well that replaced the one we used for Corona. Woo! Alright, now we can leave. Oh yeah, um, Druid, you missed a bit. Um, pretty much everyone's evolved. I've got some news. What's going on? What's your news, bud? I hope it's good news. What are we looking at for shards, actually? Because we got quite a few. Those dust clouds can be Pokemon. They can also be shards or evolution stones. Kind of just random. So it's always good to go for those if you can. I don't know. Well, I can go check. Is this guy like he liked red? I don't remember. 
Apparently, Nintendo was involved in a sexual harassment scandal. I mean, that's not a surprise. Mm. It's a giant Japanese company. Yikes. So, it was... Necessary news. Hmm? It not, it's not good news, and it's not... I mean, it is bad news. It's not like a... A tragic event. Right. I mean, you know, that shit, I mean, I'm not saying it, it's fucking okay, but I mean, that shit, that shit happens all the fucking time. It's not, it's, it's not good, but it's not surprising, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I also have news. What's your news, Druid? I think the news is that Druid is fucking fruity. It's not news. I know. What's going on, Druid? <laughs> what's, what's happened? It's gonna say, like, Shay's a bitch or something. <laughs> Fine, no news for you. What, Druid? I want the news. I didn't talk, fucking say anything. What's up? I'm your wife. I'm allowed to slander you. <laughs> Gotta... <laughs> all, all stages of, like, grief just Jameson went through with that sentence. I wish you could have saw his face. So now that we have a bug in our in our PC, it's time to go. Oh, I love I don't know. Bitch, Amber Heard couldn't get away with slander. Do you think we'll let you get away with it? Uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure Shay's a better person than Amber Heard ever was. <laughs> Am I the only one who literally didn't even know who that person was until all that shit was going on? Same. Okay, cool. I was literally like, who who are you? Why does anyone give a shit about what you say? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, granted, I don't keep up with like celebrity culture or anything, but looks like it's like coming from Nintendo America, not Japan, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That rip. Is that how you felt when we started going out? What? Jameson fell in love with the hearts. I, I guess, and I'm asleep. Druid is withholding her secrets. Yeah. Sorry I called you fruity, you fruit. So <laughs> Don't you think that's a little gay? Jim, you are dating a man. Whoa. Yeah, okay, we didn't have as much side shit as I thought. I thought it was gonna be like an entire stream of side shit, but they give you surf decently early in this game. Yeah. For what it is. I was mixing my taco salad. Well mm, sounds hot. You <laughs> sent me a picture. Shucks. <laughs> what is wrong with you today? Simmer down. I got a headache. My filter is broken. Hey. Hey. Did you know this? You push the flowing stones, they move. Hey. As always, this place is charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. The electric charges react from one stone to another, so that's why they're flowing stones. You can't push all of them, though. No fucking mood picks for shit. No, that's right. I came here to research something. I'll be seeing you. The news is... Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. No, that wasn't the news. That was Mario Kart. Speaking of Mario Shana, Kart... Yeah, Shannon and I were playing Mario Kart earlier today. <laughs> yeah, we got the boost pack. Yeah. We, we, we kind of ripped the bandit on that one. It's fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, whenever we're not sure, we're like, split it, and you're like, yeah. I mean, pretty much. No reason not to. And that's why we're like this. There was a leak of some WoW dev dates, and it had Dragonflight pre-patch data for mid-October, with a full release date of November 28th. <gasps> uh -huh. Hmm. That's not official, so I can't fully bust my nut yet, but like... That would be awesome. Because if that's the case, I'm gonna put in uh, some of my PTO for that. Me. 
Like, I'm gonna be a full-blown sweaty neckbeard because I don't really do anything else. <laughs> you said you haven't really played WoW in a while. But granted, I've you've been working. On, I've popped on with, like, some shit. It's just I've been working. Yeah. And then Pixelmon happened, so I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Chargestone Cave. It's pretty much unchanged from Black and White 1, I think. There's not really much to say about it. It's just a kind of a strength puzzle dungeon without actually having to use strength. There's stones over Here's there. Here's the bad news. More for me than you. Right. Max spell is not bad. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet released 10 days earlier? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, hey, Druid, listen. Listen. The WoW shit, I'm pretty sure for you, you know you're gonna get enjoyment out of it. The Pokemon thing, there's like a 50-50 shot it's gonna be fucking unplayable garbage. So like, just get fucking the WoW thing and then wait on the Pokemon shit. That's what I would say. <laughs> this is why I pre-order. <laughs> Cause I to don't, be fair- I don't trust pre-orders. To be fair, I don't wait and pre-order a lot of shit. Game. It's pretty much Zelda and WoW. Yeah. Expansions. I don't. So. I, I like barely. I don't really trust pre-orders because it's like, what if I, I? I like seeing shit about the game before I buy it. I'm too impatient. I I'm impatient, but I also don't want to waste money that I already barely have. You know what I'm saying? I guess. If it's something I know I'm gonna like play no matter what. Like, like Zelda. No, I'm gonna like Smash Brothers or something. Oh. You know, then yeah. it's like, yeah, sure. But like, especially like Pokemon now, absolutely fucking no shot of my pre-ordering Pokemon. Like Pokemon, it sucks because I wish I could just say, I know it's going to be terrible, but then they made Arceus and Arceus is actually good. So I'm like, there's a pretty good shot. It's going to be terrible. Charleston Cave, really like it here. Formless express the force of electricity. It's a connection to Pokemon and humans and Pokemon themselves. This is my ideal place. I have to go. I have to go in order to save Pokemon, protect the very friend that I have to stop. So that was weird. Just some fuckhead talking to himself in a cave. Yeah. I hope there's like an official release date for that soon. Because I do... With this new job, I have a lot of PTO. Like I literally get 28 days off starting. And then by... Five years of service, I have 45. Mm. So it's like, and I used to be one of those people who never really used PTO. I was like, oh. Yeah, because you're an insane person. Yeah, and it's like, I realize as I'm getting older, I need to not have work be 100% me. I need to be able to enjoy life too. And yeah, it's like, part of me wants to save some for next spring for to go to a renaissance fair and then... Corky. You no, know, fuck it. Day a game comes out, wake up at my normal working time and play it all day long. Hmm. I know I'm reselling pre patch drops, so I'm probably gonna check our finances on payday, see if I can get the expansion bought now so I don't have to pay the sub fee in October. I mean, there you go. Yeah. What? What's up, missile? What do you mean, three? Hey, yeah, the Gen 5 has triple battles and rotation battles. They are. They're certainly a mechanic. Yeah. They're I don't. I don't love them. I don't hate them. They're kind of just there. Um, the game doesn't exactly just throw just throw these at you randomly. Usually, it's ace trainers that will do. Not every ace trainer does like triple battles, rotation battles, but I think only ace trainers do. Like, I don't think you're gonna see like a hiker send out like three Pokemon against you or something randomly. I'm surprised you haven't played this missile. This is probably one of the best Pokemon games. Like, I really enjoy this game. They lag less than Horde Battles in X and Y, so there's that. Oh, no, these don't fucking lag at all. I love, love how unique and creative Gen 5 was with its mechanics. Me too. Yeah, Gen 5, Gen 5, I still stand by as like... Gen 5 or 4 is still like the best this series has ever gotten. And most of the negatives I can say about like Platinum are mostly due to like system... Like, the si like it not being optimized for the system, like, with, like, how long it takes to save and shit like that. But, like, that also never really bothered me either, so. Crossplay. Actually, no. Because you're probably just going to use fucking Protect again. So let's fly. Aqua Jet, just in case. You know, shit, I go and do this. Oh, no, not two Gravelord and Onyx three levels below me. <laughs> 
XY's mechanics were great, but they had no foundation to stand on. I mean, most of them were great. Sky battles were stupid and, like, were just a dumb idea. But everything else, yeah. We really needed Pokemon Z. And I feel bad because I feel like a decent chunk of the X or Y, well, I haven't decided yet, Let's Play is gonna be me saying, God, I fucking wish we got Pokemon Z. Sky Battles have ruined flying Pokemon models for years to come. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I hate that Salamence still looks like that. The rest is fantastic. Salamence. Salamence is great. I hate his 3D model. Yeah. Um, so, Destiny is learning Acrobatics. 55 base power flying move. If you are not holding an item, the power doubles to 110. Whee! So, I... Probably over fly, right? We can't delete fly. It's an HM move. We need to go to the move deleter for that one. Um, I'm just trying to think, do we get rid of Confuse Ray or Bite? I think I'm gonna get rid of Bite. Yeah. Mega Evolution's beloved horde battles were great for shiny hunting. Fun fact, that stacks with flying gym bonus, it sure does. Too bad that they ditched seasons. I understand why they did, because like, in Gen 5 it admittedly was kind of undercooked. Like, it was, it's basically just, is it winter or not? But like, I kind of wish they did stick with it, because it would have been cool to see them do more with it. Got a magnet, buffs up the power of electric attacks. We can give that to Saitama. Cause I think he's still got the fucking uh, soft sand on him for we're doing the uh, electric gym. Yeah, so acrobatics is a pretty ballin' fucking move. It's I think it's like by far the strongest thing a crowbat can do. Look, it's the Nugget Brothers. I'm the Nugget Man. I'm Nugget Boy. God, you shut up. I want to give you this. So I get a nugget. Woo! I want to give you this, too. You get a big nugget. It sells for even more. That's a nugget. How to get so going about deep frying? Trade secret. Nugget about it. <laughs> Ranger. Man, now I want chicken nuggets. Oh, fucking, I always want chicken nuggets, dude. What, what the fuck do you mean? Uh, Michael... We're pretty close to leveling up. I need... I think Michael learns Horn Leech at 36, which... Why the fuck don't you learn it when you evolve? <laughs> Christ. Brianna. With the Mencino. Min Mincino, Mincino. I don't. I still am. Un we used one of these bastards in the last fucking Pokemon game. I'm still not sure I was ever saying it right. I think it's Mincino because he had like cappuccino. Well. Well, that's why we named him Latte. Yeah. <laughs> cappuccino, Mincino. If you guys haven't, uh, if you guys weren't there for that, uh, y'all get some blood to YouTube. Go search Pixelated Broadcast Pokemon White. Maybe go subscribe. Go see some of the other bullshit we played. Well, it isn't Chinchilla. Well, yeah. Witness but, all my embarrassments on the internet. Well, yeah, but, like, also, Kabalion is fucking made of Cobalt, and they pronounce it Cobalion, apparently. So, like, you know, I never know. Think I'm back. You forgot this. A huge nugget. <laughs> Where are your favorite chicken nuggets? Like, describe to me your favorite nuggets. Oh, God, I don't know, dude. I'm, as long as they're not, like, the, the, the kind of, like, the super weedy fucking bread on them, I, I'll, I'll eat them. I like the tempura or like liquid battered ones. I don't like the bread crummy ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> I'm not arguing that, Druid. Iron. Doctor. So doctors are basically the same as nurses. When you beat them, they become just a free healing spot. I, I like this. You know, it, mm. it, it takes the edge off in dungeons, but you can also just fucking ignore them if you want to go fucking sweaty gamer mode. Yeah. I want to say I like McDonald's chicken nuggets, but I don't like the flavor. I like the texture. Yeah, McDonald's chicken nuggets are alright. Like, they're alright in a pinch. It's like a unique type of nugget. The like Google says it's Minchino? Okay. I feel like for Pokemon, I think it's just like as a rule of thumb, there's probably like two, maybe even three ways to pronounce like every fucking Pokemon at this point. Yeah. Jolteen, Jolteon. Okay, if you say Jolteen, you're just fucking wrong. <laughs> for crying out loud. 
Solosis. Solosis. So Solosis, maybe? Solosis. So so it's fuck me. Why did I say that? Now you're just gonna do this for everybody. Let's do that for fuck. Mm, favorite nuggy. Honestly, when, Wendy's has really I was good just gonna say, like, Wendy's chicken in general is pretty fucking good. Like, it always is like they advertise their burgers, but then you have their chicken and you're like ready to bust. Dude, I it's think like, I think in like the old Wendy's commercials, like they did they advertise their chicken more. Like I feel at least that's what I feel like I remember. I feel like a couple years ago all the fast food places were like, We have the best chicken. No I do, no yeah. I do. Uh, Arby's Nuggets? Again. I've never been to Arby's. I've never had Arby's Nuggets. I've only been to Arby's once, and it was really good. Do we even have Arby's around here? In Manchester. Ugh. <laughs> In Nashua. Ugh. Pretty much down south. Right, the closer we get to, like, fucking Mass or something. I'm gonna stick... Yep. Arby's Nuggets are more boneless wings than Nuggets. Oh, oh, that's good. Good yeah. shit right there. Evoli? I've never had Evoli. Unless you're trying to... I think he's continuing the joke of mispronouncing shit. I'm gonna put my gold front because I need that level, damn it. Chicken tenders are supreme to chicken nuggets. We've, we've had this conversation on stream before. I know, I just gotta, gotta let you know. I wonder if Michael's friendship is high enough to where I can stick return on him. It'll be just better than takedown at this point. I hope so. Oh, that fuck. That was like the worst thing. <laughs> Alright, it's down this. Air cutter. I still have yet to master fried chicken. I also really like the Hannaford grocery store chicken tenders. Yeah. Those are so good. And their fried chicken in general. Evi or Evoli as a let's go oh, of course. Oh, he's learning What? I thought you learned fucking horn leech. What the fuck? How much longer are we going to be stuck with energy ball? Ugh. Gotta revive. Man. That's something. Nah, I'd be on go. It's pronounced that way because EV in Japan is El Elibui? El Elibui, probably. Elibui? No, I'm here for Jupiter's request. I'm a research upon called Tynamo, but there aren't very many. And they don't seem to be very strong. Yeah, Tanamo's a weak little bastard, but he eventually evolves into Electros, uh, who is a pure electrolyte but levitate, so he kind of has no weaknesses. Damn it. Yeah, if you do, if you pull up like a menu or a text box, well, not a menu, if you pull up a text box when the dust cloud is there, it just sort of fucks off. But you can open your menu and it'll still be there when you come back. I like the shirt, but it's probably started out soon. Yeah? And then I got like holes and stains all over it, and it's also very see through. I don't see a problem. <laughs> of course you don't. I mean, it is just a sleep shirt. Yeah. It has stitch on it, and it says just one of those days. I got it at Walmart on clearance when we were homeless. Gotta love Walmart clearance shopping. Honestly, straight up, you can get some good shit. I mean, yeah. People shit on Walmart, but, like, they, they sell normal shit, for crying out loud, like... I wouldn't go there if you needed some, like, spe weird specialty thing, but, like, for just, like, clothes and shit, why not, you know? Yeah. Honestly, I prefer the way a lot of their clothes fit. Yeah. Especially with some of them who's chunky. I feel bad for the R online. They have the same problem the Judah line has, multiple four times weaknesses. Yeah, but at least... I feel like the... I feel like Agron is more worth putting up with those weaknesses than, like, Golem is. You know what I mean? Like... 
Because at least they have some resistances and shit that are helpful. Plus, I mean, hey, that's what your other team members are for. I think we, I think we cover Iron Man pretty well. Yeah. You know, we see a ground type. We have fucking, we have both Olive and uh, Destiny. We see a fighting type. And we have Destiny. <laughs> See, there's another ace trainer, so I'm worried. But well, actually, yeah, let's. No, yeah, because you need more XP too. Because you need to get fucking like I'm watching move that isn't fucking bolt switch. I'm assuming there's gonna be another triple rotation battle. But I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm wrong. If we see a ground type, we have all of Destiny. Michael sobbing at the back of the party. Michael will see use against that when he learns fucking Horn Leech for crying out loud. Yes, I am staying against a water type. I am insane. Need you late, son. Imagining that one burying under the ground. Mm hmm. Terrifying. How fast do you think he can dig? Disgustingly fast. It's fine, it's fine. Two percent five rose cut. Yes, I've heard about that. Um, looking forward to try. I, I, I just got. To, well, I say just. I was playing Persona 4 Golden on Steam not too long ago because I, uh, it was gifted to me. And I, I never really played Persona, but after playing that, I, uh, I think I'll end up picking up Royal for the Switch when that comes out. I, it was, Persona 4 is a good time. I just wish it would hurry the fuck up right. I don't understand why the hell it took so long. Like, you'd think they would have done that a long-ass time ago. I remember, like, they added Joker to Smash. Everybody was like, oh, okay, so, like, Persona 5 on Switch is gonna come out in, like, a couple months. And then it didn't. Let's get out of here. Now we're in Mr. Alton City, everybody. Which, I think, this will be where we wrap up. Because we gotta go short on Tuesdays due to Shay's schedule. And, um, yeah. I really can't think of a way to in pad this out for 15 minutes and have it be interesting <laughs> like not have to be obvious i'm just padding it out for 15 minutes so i think we'll just wrap up just a few minutes early of the early stream so thank you everybody for coming by and uh chilling with us hi metals man we're gonna continue to ignore the metals man um <laughs> all y'all thank you for coming by and chilling with us it was a good time as always hopefully we'll see you on thursday for our next uh, next stream. Fucking mint, and hopefully I won't be so fucking exhausted now that I'm getting back into my new routine. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can try to go a bit long on Thursday or Friday or something, but we'll figure something out. All you guys, have yourselves a great night. We'll see you for the next one. Until then, uh, peace out, everybody.